Okay, uh, welcome to the Gold Room. This is where uh, all of my mad science happens. Now, actually, it's the only place in the house that my wife will let me play with all my computer junk. Hey, look, we got a visit from my dog. Say hi, Jones. He's outside right now. I guess you could tell that. So, anyway... Today, what I wanted to show you, we're scrapping a big screen LCD, but the main reason that I find this so interesting, all of these little guys, let's see if this will help any. Yeah, helps a little bit. Well, you guys get the picture. Ha ha, get it? You guys get the picture, right? Look at that guy right there. He's pretty big. Another one I seen earlier. Right there. So it was pretty easy. Just took out four screws and then I took out these guys here. I was able to remove this guy. I just thought it was pretty awesome the way they got this guy built. Now there's going to be gold in here. There's gold in here. There's visible gold right here. And of course in your IC chips. And there's your monolithic capacitors. Okay, here's the power supply. Not much going on there. Some people break them down. I don't. I just, I have a bin labeled power supply and I throw it in there. But, just a quick video. Letting you guys know what I'm doing before work. There we go. Every once in a while, I'm going to look under these buttons here because every once in a while, though, there will be a gold plated button. Most of the time, it's uh, stainless steel. Now, once I take that off, that, and these two boards underneath, I will leave this alone and then put this back because there is new technologies in processing these screens for the indium that is inside them. Now, when that will come about, I do not know. But uh, until then, I'm going to save my screens from, you know, LCD screen. LCD is the only thing... I mess with, I don't mess with the old cathode, cathode ray tube. Uh, so I'll save those. I've got my phones up here. I've got laptops. I'll save the screens off of. Tablets. Um, you know, I'm saving all of my screens just in case. Because you never know. But uh, until then, Mike's out. I'll see you guys later.